Sure, they're laughable, branded patronizing rubbish by the London Telegraph, but is that all there is to the 2012 Olympic mascots? Stephen Bailey, the prominent design critic, said, What is it about these games which seem to drive the organizers into the embrace of this kind of patronizing, cretinous infantilism? Why can't we have something that makes us sing with pride instead of these appalling computerized smurfs for the iPhone generation? But we who know how the advertising industry works can see that this is just another case of subliminal mind control. If you don't believe me, watch my full-length documentary, Truth and Reality. Let us quickly break down the message. No, no, those aren't the mascots. The only way I can describe these things are as one-eyed monsters, which is a slang term for a penis. Clearly they are penis-shaped. Penis symbolism is one of the most used advertising techniques. It's based on the theories Freud and Jung had about the subconscious mind. Well, what else do we see? There's two of the penises, and there's a rainbow behind them. Boris Johnson, the mayor of London, has described the pairing as a solid coalition, adding, it's hard to imagine mascots more in tune with the times. Okay, there are two penises. Their symbol is a rainbow. They're a solid coalition, very in tune with the times. Hmm. I'll leave it at that. I would not want to be detained for thought crimes, but just remember these things are aimed at the kids of the world. Also of note are their names, Wenlock and Mandible. Wenlock is similar to the word wedlock, and Mandible includes the words man, devil, and evil. Please spare me the pathetic backstory of the characters' names and designs. The creators of modern propaganda are far more crafty and evil than we take them for. Organizers would not comment on the cost of creating the mascots, which were designed by the London-based creative agency Iris, but it claimed it had been kept to a few thousand pounds because large parts of the work were done in-house or with the help of sponsors. If you would like to contact Iris, here is the contact information. If you want to know more about subliminal messages and mind control, remember to check out my YouTube series, Truth and Reality.